here's a quick video to show changing channels with AP wireless. First of all, we need to log on to the AP wireless system. So using um, an Internet Explorer, we'll type in the address given to AP wireless, which is 192.168.1.30. You don't need to be um, secured to the net, uh, internet here. We just need to have the wires plugged in from AP wireless um, so that we can um, access the interface. Using the Explorer interface um, we will have this site come up it's not a secure site ignore that warning just go to more information click more information and then go to web website it says not recommended but obviously we're in a closed network so everything is safe you hit that and then we'll come to the interface the interface logins will be ubnt and um, it's a mirror of that UBNT. So user and password is the same. It will vary depending on when your system was supplied to you. Um, if these logins don't work, just contact us and um, or refer to the information that was supplied with with the system when you've got it. The, um, there may be a slight difference in the login details. Anyway, um, let's log in. Um, we've now got the interface. Um, we're just going to go to the wireless part in ready to uh, change the frequency. So you'll see in this middle section, frequency um, uh, megahertz is set to auto. Um, and we've got some variations that we can drop into here. So we need to now find out what's happening in our local area uh, with the network. So let me just disappear this um, out of the way. Um, so we now go to our uh, app that we would have downloaded, which is a free um, app for your PC, NetSpot. So just launch NetSpot. Um, with the free app, just press continue. Um, we're not wanting the updates. And now this is showing uh, what networks are about, uh, which ones are on uh, five gigahertz, which ones are on um, 2.4. Um, if we go down to the bottom, we've got details. And if we look at here now, we can look at what's happening. There's two networks here, uh, AP base, uh, working in that range, so we separate a AP base to not interfere with the the general ones, which is my my local um, BT hub here. If we go over to um, the five gigahertz, you can still see I've got some um, uh, uh, BT hub activity here, but then I've got uh, AP capture, and what we're trying to do is separate AP capture into some of this free real estate here other channels are not being used so if you're in a busy stadium you're probably going to see evidence of other networks um, deploying parts of the channels that are free and what we're going to look to do is pick the gaps between so that we've got a clearer signal so if i look at 5520 there's nothing there if there was other ones i'd pick a, a clear channel range uh, between them so let's just move this out of the way um, and now we go back to um, the interface uh, go on to auto and we're looking at 5520 so we're going to select 5520 um, and we just at the bottom of here you must make sure that you press change so let me just bring this uh, down and then we've also got to put uh, press apply at the top of the page. Now this is going to take um, a few minutes to uh, change over. So what's happening in the background now is that 
AP Wireless is booting down. It's adopting those changes and then it's got to uh, relaunch itself. So within a few minutes, you'll see that we've got a dotted line around this that's just appeared. It means that the signal's being lost. Um, and then uh, as soon as it uh, boots back up, you're going to see that it changes to this area. Um, once it's changed to that area, moved across, then we can just close out of it. We know that we've got a free channel. Uh, and we're going to get the best performance out of AP Wireless. Ensuring that AP Wireless, that you really get in the angle and direction um, pointed to where your target uh, receiver is. So um, when you're up on the balcony, make sure that you've adjusted the angle of the antenna to exactly where you want to hit uh, across the pitch or, or down to the touchline. But we should see shortly um, the network uh, flick over into the into the different position. It just takes the time to reboot up. There you go. It's uh, moved across. So now this is um, the uh, Analysis Pro um, AP Wireless range being separated where from the traffic of uh, any other systems.